blood pressure regulation, how our body compensates the sudden elevation of blood pressure. Increased blood pressure will stretch baroreceptors located in the aortic and carotid sinuses. The baroreceptors in turn will stimulate the cardioinhibitory center in the medulla obligate, which will enhance the parasympathetic activities through vagus nerve. This results in decreased heart rate or bradycardia. Stretching the baroreceptors also suppresses the sympathetic stimulation of the blood vessels, which results in vasodilation. Additionally, increased blood pressure will increase the cardiac output and atrial natriuretic peptide hormones. Both suppress the renin and geotensin aldosterone system. This suppression results in increased water and sodium exertion by the kidney, which leads to decreased blood volume. Additionally, suppression of angiotensin results in vasodilation. All these autoregulatory mechanisms result in the returning of blood pressure to normal levels. Now we will study the autoregulatory mechanism in case of hypotension. If the blood pressure decreases, the baroreceptor stretching will be decreased. Consequently, the shrunk baroreceptors will stimulate the cardiac accelerator center in medulla oblongata, which stimulates the sympathetic output, resulting in increased heart rate. Decreased stretching in the baroreceptors will also enhance the sympathetic stimulation to peripheral blood vessels to induce vasoconstriction. Thus, normal blood pressure will be elevated to near normal levels. Additionally, decreased cardiac output will suppress the atrial natriuretic hormone. Both factors will lead to stimulation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system and less water and sodium will be excreted into the urine. Thus, blood volume will be increased. Additionally, angiotensin includes peripheral vasoconstriction. These autoregulatory mechanisms will result in returning of blood pressure to normal levels.